and today I'm going to show you how to play a maths card game called Target Tic Tac Toe. You may also know this game as Noughts and Crosses. First we need to draw out our Tic Tac Toe or Noughts and Crosses grid. We then need to generate 9 numbers between 1 and 20 to go in the grid. You can use a set of 1 to 20 cards or a 1 to 20 dice to generate your numbers. Once I've filled my grid with numbers, we can start the game. Before you start, you need to decide who is going first. You also need to decide who is going to be knots and who is going to be crosses. For this game, I'm going to be knots. Each player takes six cards from the pack of cards and lays them out in front of them. The aim of the game is to use your cards to make one of the numbers on the grid. You can use any of your cards and addition, subtraction, multiplication or division to make the number you are going for. I'm going to try and make the middle number which is 15. I have a 7 and an 8 so I'm going to use them and say 7 and 8 equals 15. As I've made the number in the square, I am going to draw a dot on that number to show it's mine. I then need to replace the two cards I've just used with two new cards. The other player then has their go. They can decide to make 18. They have 6 and 3. 6 multiplied by 3 is 18. So they can put across an 18. The aim of the game is to be the first player to get a horizontal, vertical or diagonal line. With my cards I might try to make 13. I have 6, 5 and 2 which added together make 13. So I'm going to draw a naught on 13. As with normal tic-tac-toe or knots and crosses, you aren't only trying to make a line yourself, you also need to keep an eye on what your partner is doing. So you can try and block them from being able to make a line. They can block my line by multiplying 5 and 4 which makes 20. So they would put a cross on 20. I need to make 12 to block the other player but I can't see how to do, it, do that with my cards. Instead, I'm going to make 11. 10, add 1, make 11. So I'm going to put a circle on 11. The other player can add 10 and 2 to make 12 to win the game. So they would put a cross on 12. They are now the winner. I hope you have found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you soon. Bye.